Joining us on Valley News Live as we head through our Thursday, here's the latest on our first alert weather days for Monday and Tuesday. I just want to be upfront with you that our uh, uncertainties remain pretty high with this system. A couple of models still showing very low to no impacts in our viewing area, while others have the core of the snow making its way through. And right now, that old American model is churning out the statistics and the numbers that we need to get the latest update. But here's what we do know. Uh, early next week, by the latter part of our Monday, we'll see snow making its way in. There will be a chance for some mixed precipitation in the form of sleet and freezing rain as well. So it gets uh, going on Monday. By Monday night, you know, if this storm takes aim on some of our counties here, then you'll want to be where you're going to go because all day Tuesday there will be morning impacts with snow that will have accumulated overnight into the morning and there'll be afternoon impacts as the snow will last the better part of the day on Tuesday. By Wednesday, cold north winds will make things cooler and there'll be a little bit of wind to go along with it. Here is a look at the track of the storm and as we take a look, we'll have our snow onset pushing in from the south as we go into our Monday evening. Notice our northern counties may not see much in the way of heavy snow at all. Some flurries, light snow working their way up northward. Now, as we get into Tuesday morning, we will have had uh, some areas getting snow for the better part of the overnight. Heaviest of the snow will be Tuesday morning through the midday and early afternoon hours as the core of this system works its way through. Gusty north winds on the backside of this will make for some very difficult travel conditions should this track pan out. And as far as the snowfall potential goes with this system, it lasts all the way into Wednesday morning for eastern Minnesota. Now, the area that has the best chance at seeing impactful type of snow of six or eight inches or more is in white here. Now other areas skirting either side of this will still get some measurable snow from this. And again, the uncertainties remain high. I will say this is the forecast we put together earlier, uh, moved it south a little bit and the trend is still south. The American model coming in has this as the track. So. Um, the models are coming into a little bit closer agreement, but it's still a long ways out. We will keep you posted right here. First and foremost, what do we have going on now? It's cold, 12 degrees, wind tapering off just a little bit, but those wind chills are near or below zero in many locations. Seven in Langdon, 16 Bemidji, 12 Grand Forks, 19 Sisseton, as most of us remain pretty cool. Look at this band of snow making its way through the Twin Cities. This is another Colorado low that exited the Denver area, dumping quite a bit of snow there, taking you in the heavier bands of snow are making their way through the Twin Cities. Now I-94 right here, there's St. Michael and over here is Clearwater. If you've ever been through that stretch of road, it took on some snow and this is a look at the camera. There's a, well, a truck that's westbound. He spun out. So very icy roads out there. Temperatures in the morning will be near zero. Wind chills five to 25 below zero. We'll see passing clouds in the morning half of the day, then increasing clouds late as south winds pick up. So what we'll breezy conditions as this warmer air pushes in, I cannot rule out a flurry or two, even though they're not showing up here. Our western counties will have a chance of that late in the day. Nothing accumulating, breezy, kind of cool and blustery, but warming as we head into your weekend. Speaking of warming, you know, the weather lately getting up to freezing or maybe just above in a few places causes some snow and ice to fall off our roofs. Dan, thank you for that spiky ice photo. Now look at your holiday forecast. Saturday and Sunday, 20 to 25 degrees for our afternoon temperatures. All in all, pretty quiet weather through the weekend. First alert weather day. Remember, the snow chances begin late impacting the late night and overnight drive uh, and morning on Tuesday and Tuesday night's drive will have more impacts, particularly in our southern counties. We'll keep you posted if that track shifts, but our whole forecast uh, through the weekend and into next week is impacted by this storm. It could be colder if it dives south. I just want to explain for some viewers at home when they're a day or two out.